So what we've got now is a very simple version of the Flappy Bird style game. But you will see that the movement isn't quite right. And the main reason is because whenever the Flappy Bird falls, he falls at the same speed. We know in the real world that gravity would make Flappy Bird fall quicker and he wouldn't fall at the same speed, he would get quicker the further that he falls. And that happens due to gravity. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new variable called gravity and we're going to make the way Flappy Bird actually falls and moves a lot more realistic. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to data and we need to create a new variable and we're going to call this new variable gravity. And we're going to make it available for all sprites and click on OK. So now we've got this, the first thing that we're going to have to change is instead of saying that we're always going to change y by minus 3, we're going to be eventually be changing that by the value of gravity. But first of all, we have to work out a way of changing the value of gravity. So what we're going to do is we're going to another event when the green flag is clicked. We're going to go to data. We're going to set gravity to zero. And then we are going to change gravity by instead of forever loop, sorry, control. So at all times during the game, we're going to change gravity by, so it's going to be instead of forever loop. And we're going to go to data and we're going to change gravity by one. So the value of gravity is going to increase all the time. So at the minute of the place, the flappy bird is actually going to fly up the ways. Okay. But so what we can do to make them actually fly down the ways is we can use one of these operators and we can say that we're going to change. We want it to change negatively. So we're going to set it to zero. And from that, we're going to take away the value of gravity. Pop that in there now. That should hopefully, you can see, it's not falling at the same speed. It falls quicker. We're not going to change gravity by one because it's going too quick. We're going to, let's try 0.6 and see how that works. You can see he's falling at a more in a more realistic way, speeding up as he gets closer towards um, the actual ground. Now what we need to change is we need to change the way the flappy bird actually flies up the ways. So instead of using this glide, what we're going to do instead is we're going to actually change the value of gravity. So in here we're going to go to data again. We're going to click on set gravity to. And let's say we try set gravity to 10. Let's try minus 10. So now whenever we press the space key, you can see he's kind of bouncing and jumping up and down. He's probably going bounce, uh, going a little bit too far up. It makes the game very difficult. So we're going to change gravity by minus 5. See if that's any better. And you can see it's a lot more realistic. He's not just moving up and down. It's more controllable. And he's... Um, it makes the game more like the actual real game. But what I'm going to try now is change that to minus. That's fine. I want to change gravity by not by minus 0.6. Let's try minus 0.8. Let's see how that works. That's fine. He's going down quick, but it's taking a lot of time for, for him to actually move up the way, so it might make the game too difficult. So we might have to adjust the actual distance that he can climb. So again, I'm just going to slightly tweak now. When space key is pressed, set gravity to instead of minus 5, let's try minus 6. See what that's like. And you can see now this is a much more realistic uh, interface for the users to actually use when playing the game. It makes it look and feel like more like the, the actual game and it makes it easier for the users to move up and down and to navigate the way in between the pipes.